guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I want to show you a little project I've been working on, which is the Raspberry Pi laptop for under $80. So let's get started. So luckily for me, I was able to snag one of these guys on eBay for about $30. So if you add that up, it's $30 for one of these things, $35 for a Raspberry Pi, and about $7 to $8 each for the cables that I need to hook up to the back of this. So it comes out roughly a little bit under $80. I'll leave a link in the description below on where you could find them. And I'll have a link in the description below on more details about this video as far as what you need to do to configure your Raspberry Pi to get it working. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is called a Motorola Atrix 4G lap dock. You use a phone, hook it up into the back of this, and this is actually the phone that goes for it, um, and then use this device as your laptop. It's all great when it came out. It was actually pretty big when it came out in 2011. It was competing against the market of all the netbooks and tablets. Now, I could pick up one of these netbooks, the Triple E PCs, for about $300 at that time. Meanwhile, you have one of these guys for $500. That doesn't even come with a hard drive or operating system or anything. All you could do is dock a phone, which you also need to buy the phone to put this in. So it didn't really make sense at that time. Now, fortunately for us, because they discontinued making these guys, we are able to pick up these guys really cheap on eBay. More so now than it was before. I've been monitoring the prices of these for the past year or so, and it went down, it went from $70, which, is, which isn't even expensive, all the way down to about $40 or $50 you could get these easily. And I was able to snipe these for $30. The little trick on eBay is to misspell. Now, for those of you who don't use eBay a lot, try to misspell something that you are looking for. Chances are somebody else who posted it misspelled it and they weren't getting enough hits. So you could find really good deals just by misspelling the word that you are looking for. To talk about this for a little bit, this is 11.6 inch screen. Extremely glossy is something that I don't like. It reflects basically everything, the light. So during the daytime, indoors it's fine once you go outside or if you go into a living room with a lot of windows it's very hard to see what's going on it is very thin but it's got some weight to it it's about 2.4 pounds so it doesn't feel like a toy it's almost as thin as a macbook air which is really impressive and it's got its own battery uh, that powers the screen and everything else it's got a little hub in the back so you can hook up extra devices the things that i don't like about this is again the screen was too glossy and the mouse pad it doesn't support multi-touch when you're scrolling up and down you're gonna have to click on the scroll bar and then move it up or down or use the arrow keys itself it's very annoying and tedious we got spoiled by the multi-touch stuff now uh, what i do like is that it has a battery indicator so you don't have to install any drivers for your raspberry pi to get it to work it also has a built-in brightness controls. You don't have to install anything on Raspberry Pi to get that to work. It just works right off the hardware. Uh, the battery life is insanely good. I was able to hook up my Raspberry Pi and use this for about six hours and still had a little bit juice left. Uh, to get the Raspberry Pi working on this um, is you need these two cables, which is a micro HDMI to a regular HDMI cable and a micro USB female to a male uh, USB. You need these two cables to hook up the little ports in the back that you flip up so you could use it as a monitor and keyboard. Uh, if you've seen other videos on people getting the Raspberry Pi to work on these, they actually go to extents where they actually take apart this guy, put in a Raspberry Pi Zero and kind of fit it in there or they kind of Velcro it to the back. I don't plan to do that to my Raspberry Pi laptop uh, because I plan to use this as a utility, more like if I need to fix somebody's computer or if I want to hook up a PlayStation to this or if I want to hook up a Latte Panda or another project that I'm working on, I don't have to lug my monitor and my wireless keyboard. I could just hook it up directly to this guy and get everything working. So thanks for watching my video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this video, hit it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button that helps me a lot also gives you notification when the next video is going to be out and as i say in my nerd cave hack till it hurts what's going on so now i have my mouse in my main screen i don't know if you could see it but i could drag my window around and you can see that i'm, I'm on here now i could just move my mouse to the left screen